I'm in the airport now, just waiting for my flight. I got pretty lucky with the bus coming here. There's one at 11.45 to the airport, and I got it like five minutes before I left. Arrived, it's three o'clock. Um, I don't know, no one told me that I had to check in my bag. Um, so I just had it basically in between my, on my lap, pretty much. It's like 30 pounds, it's so annoying. The train from the airport didn't go to where I wanted. It didn't stop at like a whole bunch of different places. So now I need to take, a, uh, like, I'm waiting for this one to go and then another one to come. And then I'm going to Oster cross some. And then from there I take another one to Alexander. It's the train station. So I finally arrived at the right train station. Five o'clock. First thing I saw is the CN Tower in Germany. Um, this thing's like massive. It's like I'm pretty sure it's free to enter. Um, but I think you have to have, you have to reserve spots. It's just weird that I'm wearing a I'm wearing a toque now. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna. It's like six degrees, but it feels a lot colder. Just pretty sure my body got used to like Spain and Italy. Um, yeah, because. I just jumped straight from like 20 to like 6 in just a couple hours. So it's definitely weird. Just finished dinner. Um, walking back to my hostel. The dinner was like traditional Berlin dish. It was uh, the knuckle of a pork. That's what it said. And then it came with like sauerkraut. And mashed peas. It's pretty cheap. It's only like 10 euros. And then of course I got beer. It's pretty good. I saw like the customers and then the workers took shots of something. So like they had like a bond together. I don't know if that's like a tradition thing um, or if they knew each other but I thought that was pretty cool. It's 11 a.m. First, I'm going to the Museum Island. So, as the name says, it's an island with museums on it. I kind of like the, the winter kind of thing. Because um, I don't stand out as a tourist as much. Because everyone else is wearing the same thing. Made it to the top, the cathedral. Um, this is the dome behind me. 
300 steps, I think. It's a beach. Um, that tower, it was supposed to represent communism, identity, or something in Germany. Um, it doesn't represent communism anymore, because I don't think Germans communism right now. Um, It's 2.30, so I spent like three, four hours on the island maybe, looking at museums. Okay, so I stopped and got some currywurst. Um, when I saw curry, I was like, oh, I don't want that, it's not German, but um, curry, I think, is the sauce, sausage and fries. So. Tastes pretty good. It does taste like curry, like Indian curry. Good. So Germany, I guess, implemented this rule. My, my, my Canadian one doesn't work here, I guess. Um, the, the sketchy looking card, I guess, is finally catching up to me. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go to a farm pharmacist, try and get a card, a valid one. Okay, now I'm at the memorial of the Jewish people that were murdered in the Holocaust. Um, it's a whole bunch of stone pillars. There's like over 2,731, I think. But like, if you think this is a lot, and then you look at how much were actually killed, like millions of Jews just for being Jewish. This is Brandenburg Gate. It looks pretty simple, but I guess that's what uh, I guess that's what I'm getting from Germany so far, architecture-wise. Now I'm going to the Reichenstag building. It's like a glass dome. It's like over there. Probably can't see.
This is the west side. That's the east. Um, that's where the wall would have been. But the buildings are a bit different, I think. The west side looks a bit newer. And then, well, just, just from what, like, and then that's the east. Looks like a gulag kind of house. I haven't really been on the west side too much. My hostel's on the east side. So, that's the tower over there. Um, so I guess that's why it represented communism. It's because it was built on the east side during the Berlin Wall time, Cold War. So. Okay, so I got curry worst again. Cheaper than the other place I got it. Um, so it it all depends on the neighborhood you're in because the place I first got it, it was like a tourist big shopping district. The mall is right there. Um, yeah, so just walk a couple feet, go around the next block, and then you'll find the better place. Okay, so it was called the Palace of Tears because it's like a glass building. It's like a glass palace, I guess. Um, and then it was like a checkpoint for trains uh, getting into the east and west. It's like, this is the train station here. Um, so. Like behind here is that palace, and then they'd have to go through there, um, say goodbye and stuff to their family, and that's why it's called the Palace of Tears, because like it's a sad place for them. Um, and then they could get the train here to West Germany. So there's these pigeons again. I forget it was in Barcelona. Yeah, Barcelona. That's where all the pigeons were. Okay, so I'm like super lucky. I came to the Okay, well, That's the Reichenshire building or something. It's the Parliament. And then there's the glass dome at top. Um I got like the last ticket. Um, it's at nine, but yeah, I got like the very last one. If I would have been nice and let one other person go in front of me, I wouldn't have been able to go up. Okay, so I'm in the Humboldt Forum. Um, it's a museum, and there's like a whole bunch of different ones. It's free, like I think. Well, I got I got free into the African like wild museum. Um, 
this place is like super big. Um, <clears throat> kind of confusing. Right now I'm going to the German Historical Museum. It's, it's uh, like pretty much by the museum island. Um, and then after that, I'm actually gonna do some human contact. <laughs> I'm gonna go explore the area with one person who's not a male. Oh, wow. Um, and then after that, I might also join someone else. And it's Friday in Berlin. So I'm really hoping I can go to a club. I was literally supposed to go to one last night, but it didn't work out. So I'm hoping tonight it works. Because uh, in a restaurant now, this is the interior. Um, I got dark beer this time. Try something for it. It got two meatballs and potatoes for dinner. So we'll see what that looks like. There it is. So this is like the third curry worst I had. Um, so we'll see. It's like loaded with mayo. 
and ketchup, which is rare. Very rare. I'd say hot dogs, like the meat part, is the best so far. The sauce, it's kind of lacking. That's the second time I had it. That was probably the best sauce. Um, so this comes second place. Five thirty. Um, got out of the club. Sorry, mom, but I went alone. Um, can't hear anything now. Did definitely go alone because. All, of, all you really do is just dance. Um, you can't hear anything, so you can't really have a conversation anyways. Uh, and once you like get in the middle, you fit right in the dance. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, I definitely wouldn't turn it into like a full-time hobby. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm walking back to the subway, back to the hostel. Have a bus to Prague at 1 p.m. So yeah.